Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Joffrey Noodle Legs here today. We're going to be doing a little bit more of the train sim today. We're going to be running from Three Bridges to Victoria on the Southampton to Victoria service. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So first of all, let's put me key in. Let's put me... Uh, into neutral. Let's put some lights on. Should be up here. Day running, I want. Yeah, okay. Cool. Now open me doors. Let the passengers load. Let's have a little look at three bridges. Oh, there's me. Alright, try again. <laughs> there was people on the train, which was bit weird. Yeah, we're at three bridges. So let's finish setting my train up. I'm going to put this into forward now. We're going to shut the doors because we can actually go. So let's go. I think we're calling it Gatwick, East Croydon, Clapham and Victoria on this service. So, I'll be saying welcome aboard this uh, southern service to uh, London, Victoria. We shall be calling at Gatwick Airport, East Croydon, Cro sorry, East, yeah, East Croydon, Clapham Junction and London Victoria. Please read any safety notices and carriages and keep belongings with you at all times. If you do see anything suspicious, find a member of staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. The next stop for this service will be Gatwick Airport. So that's like a general announcement you'd make. So we are early in the morning, about 8.30. So um, let's pick up a bit of speed. So um, and get towards Gatwick, as we've only got a couple of minutes to get there. Ideally, it, you do try to run the train on time, but <laughs> It, it's other things that stop you, like signals and things like that you've got to be wary of. That was a double yellow signal just passed, which means the next signal is going to be a single, which means the next signal could be a red. So you have to be wary of that, especially with your speeds. Give yourself plenty of time to stop if you have to at a red signal. So, we're doing all right. Just have to keep an eye on my speed because when I'm getting closer to um, the actual airport, I want to be slowing down. Which I'm going to do now at a slow rate. So I can travel at this speed for the moment. Yes, I can go up to 85, but I'm stopping at a station in a minute. So, we don't want to go through the station, do we? So, we're slowing down now as we're approaching. This is an eight car. So I can use the whole length of the platform. So we just cruise through to here and we'll stop it in a second. 
making sure we don't pass any signals on the way. There we go. Lovely. So let's release my door. And we'll have a look at Gatwick, shall we? Oh, there's an airplane. This does look like Gatwick Airport. I used to work this route when I was with Thames Link. So that's really cool. So we've got to wait for a few seconds. When it's 38.30, we can close the doors. Okay, my doors are closed. So we can actually make a move. As we're on time. Because it can be within that 30 seconds window, you see. And there we're due at Croydon in 15 miles. Follow me, train. Keeping an eye on my speed limits and me signals. Quite a big junction there, isn't it? To be expected at an airport. Should we have a look at the front of the train? There we go. Coming through a station, I believe. There we go. It's such a beautiful looking game. It really is. Um the only, what I would say was a negative thing about the game is the prices of the add-ons <coughs> excuse me they've got a new add-on out on the PlayStation 5 next week uh, Scott Rail between Edinburgh and Glasgow which I would really want but it's quite expensive, it's £29.99 so it's £30 which is the price of another game just for an add-on and you have to look at it to think, is there going to be enough content there for me to play that's going to be worth that amount of money? I don't know. I, I think it's overpriced. Uh, and I, I don't understand why. If if their add-ons were like 19 99 they would sell more and they would make more money. And so, but train enthusiasts will buy it anyway, whatever the price. Me, myself, I, I, I pick and choose what I can afford and if I really want it. I would love to get much more uh, of the English routes, but they're too pricey. I've got a few, I've got a fair few. I would like the two Scottish routes and the Cornwall route, but they're just too, I just think £30, so those three add-ons would be £90. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit... It's just pricey for what it is. Considering I play other games and not just this one, it's not a uh, good value for me. Now, if it was the uh, Great Northern route, say uh, King's Cross to... Cambridge or King's Cross to Peterborough, yeah, I'd pay it because that's the route I'm interested in. But just this, these routes, no, 
not enough content in it for me. But we're doing alright. We're making good time. So East Croydon's in 11 miles. So we're under speed limit. Doing all right. Just try and keep us on 79 because the speed limit's going to change to 80. There we go. <coughs> and it's gone down to 80, probably because of these junctions here. Looks like we've been put on the. Uh, express route as we haven't come across many stations the speed for this train maximum speed is 100 we can now increase our speed can have another look outside. Doesn't that look great? The problem is when you do this on this game, you <laughs> You've got to keep an eye on everything because you might get a red signal up and you're too busy looking at the pretty game, you miss the red signal. I've been caught out on that before. But yeah, very, very cool. cruise a bit. We're seven miles away yet from uh, Croydon. Just in case there's any workmen at the other end of the tunnel. That's one thing that's wrong about this game. When you come out of a tunnel, the brightness hits you like, wow, isn't it? But on this game it doesn't, so uh, I wish they'd sort of fix that a little bit. We're up to about 90 miles an hour now, I think. We're good to cruise at this for a while. Road don't look too busy. So is Croydon. It's on the outskirts of London. Uh, it's a rough old place. I used to work there quite a bit when I was with Thamesley. Yeah, it's a rough old place. But there you go. Good days though. Good days on the railway when I worked for Thameslink.
really good company to work for. speed down just slightly because I'm going downhill but we're making good time we are still on time <coughs> due in uh, 8.53 I think I'm due out of there 8.54 so I've got about six minutes or so to make it there. Five, yeah, but so six minutes. I'll try and do another announcement for you when we get close to the station. doing good time, doing a good speed. Shortly I'll have to come down from 88 miles, 90 miles down to 60 because we're going to be hitting a speed restriction of 60 miles an hour in about a mile's time. And then we'll be getting closer to the station. So when we get to half a mile, I will start reducing my speed. Here we go. So I just slowly start reducing it to get down to that 60 miles an hour. And then I'll do my announcement for you. We will shortly be arriving into East Croydon Station. If you're leaving the service here, please mind you step down to the platform and take any belongings with you. The next stop will be East Croydon. Okay, so we can now start reducing the speed slowly. As we don't want to be uh, crashing through the station. <coughs> I'll get it down to about 30 and then cruise until I see the beginning of the platform so I can cruise here a little bit so we're going on to platform 1 so the doors are open on the uh, right hand side this time so slowing ourselves down remembering we got an eight car so I'm going to ignore that blue marker because I need to get all these uh, cars onto the platform There we go, lovely. Release doors. We'll have a little look at Croydon. Yep, that looks just like Croydon. Except one mistake. These steps are not steps, they're slopes. They're actually slopes. 
because of obviously making it more wheelchair access but the rest of it spot on well done dovetail well dovetail dovetail <laughs> oh dear so we got to wait for a little bit because we're quite ahead of time so when it gets to 53 and 30 seconds I can then close my doors but we can have a little look at what's going on got a one heading off towards Southampton on that platform and your Gatwick Expresses will come on f these platforms three and four and your Brighton services right so we're going to close our doors and we can slowly start to make a move to welcome all passengers that joined us there at East Croydon this is your London Victoria service calling at Clapham Junction and London Victoria please take a moment to read safety notices and carriages keep belongings with you at all times if you see anything suspicious find a member of staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016 next stop for this service will be Clapham Junction So here we go. We get up to 60 miles an hour. I believe, if I remember right, in this section of the track, the speed limit's only about 70. Um, you can't go any uh, faster than that in this whole part of the track. I've, I, probably because you are now on the outskirts of London. So you're going to get more traffic so they'd be more likely to be coming towards a red signal so just be wary of that look I'm speeding a little bit there, there we go. it's because we're going downhill so just take myself down to 58 and then just I don't know. <laughs> since I do that we get the the okay to get up to 70 so we just run it through here on up here and we'll run it through to 70. It's only six miles away. Got quite a fine day today. No changes in the weather yet. We can cruise it now. Keep an eye on our signals, keep an eye on our speed limits. <coughs> Doing alright, got 4,966 points so far on this trip alone. We're at 70, going downhill, so keep an eye on that. Might take us down one. Hold us there. Now we're going uphill. And in two miles, we've got to reduce our speed to 60. I don't think we'll struggle with that, considering we're running at 68. going to be a tighter turnaround at Clapham I think because
because of the um, speed that we can only run at at this part of the line. doing well when we get past Clapham I'll show you the outside a bit so you'll see a bit of London I'm not worried about my speed because it's going to come down to 60 in, this, in half a mile and we're at 63 so that's all good. Clapham to Victoria, it's about two miles. It's not very far. When you come out of Clapham, you should have the Isle of Dogs and the river. You need to have a little look at that. <clears throat> Let's just come down slightly. 59 cruise at that that takes us under 60 so we're not going to be speeding and we're shortly going to be at Clapham so I'll do your announcement again for you when we get close to Clapham. We will shortly be arriving at Clapham Junction. If you're going to be leaving the service here, mind you step down to the platform and take any belongings with you. Next stop will be Clapham Junction. So I'm running about 50 miles an hour at the moment. So when we start getting near half a mile, I'll start to reduce my speed try and approach the station about 30 miles an hour and then on the platform about 20 so start bringing it down now keep an eye on the signals We're headed, we are on time, so we're doing good. Just make sure we get the whole train on the platform. So we'll run up past this line maybe. I don't think it's, that is the whole platform. No, I need to go a bit further, because I've got eight cars. There we go. 
We'll need some more doors. Let's have a look at Clapham. Whoa, no, that's a big track layout. Look at that. There we go. City of London. Are the dogs? See it there? We'll be over there in a minute. Always leave nice and slow, just in case there's anyone by the edge on the platform. So let's stay on the outside for a minute. Like I said to you, it's only two miles away. Um, keep an eye on these signals as well, because we're going to be hitting traffic, so we might get some red signals. We've got plenty of time, look, we're not due in till 9.13. So I'm going to keep my speed at a good speed, just in case I get any signals. I just get this feeling <laughs> that I'll get caught out. Gonna take myself down again a bit more. Just gonna run it like that. Just trying to run it on the outside for you so you can see a bit of London as we're heading towards the main part of London like you can see it's, I've got a speed limit of 40 miles an hour but I just get this feeling I'm going to be hitting a red light or something. So that's why I'm running at 35. I've got plenty of time. I've got plenty of time. See, I've got a yellow. So I'm going to cruise down on this at the moment. Getting towards the Isle of Dogs here. I'm okay. I'm on a yellow. That red's not mine. <laughs> So although you can travel at 40 miles an hour, guys, just remember that you're in London. There's the other dog, look. How cool is that? So you should be coming to the Thames. I've got a red signal. Told you. So we're going to have to stop this at a signal. What we'll do, we'll stop it here. Till we get the all clear. Gives us a chance to have a little look around, doesn't it? Look at that, see? So we're sat in a red signal. Let's go back inside. And we're just waiting for a yellow or a green. And then we can move forward. Leave it on break one. Now, we're being held here for a number of reasons. 
mostly because we're way ahead of time. And this is probably in the timetable to be sat here for other trains to pass by. Here we go, see? That's what I was telling you. When that train's gone, we might get the all clear. <clears throat> Sorry about the delay, ladies and gentlemen. We're sitting on a red signal at the moment, just outside um, Victoria Station. We will shortly be arriving into London, Victoria, when this train terminates. Please take a moment to make sure you take all your belongings with you and mind a step down to the platform. If you do see anything suspicious at the station, speak to a member of staff or text the British Transport Police 61016. Please have tickets ready to exit through the barriers if you are leaving the station here or going on to London Underground. The next stop will be London Victoria, where well, this train will terminate. All change there, please. As soon as we get a red signal, we this red signal changes to green, we shall be on the move. Thank you for travelling with Southern Trains today. So there's the announcements. All done. Hopefully we will get a a, a green. I can't contact the signaler. No, it's my reverser. This is the waiting game. Welcome to the railway. Close that window up, because we'll be uh, leaving the train when we get into Victoria. We should get a green in a second. I think when this next train's gone by, we should get a, a, a green signal. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to apologise for the, the uh, delay here. We are actually on time. And we are sat at a red signal outside the station, waiting for our, our allotted platform to become available. We are now on the move into London, Victoria, where this train will terminate. All change, please. So here we go. Guys, thanks for watching this stream. Hope you've enjoyed it, listening to me rabbit about trains. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. We are approaching our destination here, London, Victoria. Got a 20 mile speed limit here. So we're gonna reduce it down on our approach here. Yeah, we'll keep it there. So we're going to go to 20 miles an hour now. See, we are speeding. <laughs> it's because we're going um, downhill. And that's all it is, playing with this little button here to keep it on the speed. We're now flat, so we should be all right. We're on platform 19. Here we go. Gonna bring my speed down a bit more. Because we are on time. Long old platform.
because you can get two trains on there. My eight car and probably another six car in front of mine. Let's bring myself down slightly more. Don't want to hit any bumpers at the end. Okay, let's have a look, open the doors. There's hardly anyone on my train. I don't think there's anyone on it. So let's get off and I'll show you a little bit of the train, if I can. First class. There we go, see? So there's the train, looking cool. This is Victoria, and thanks for watching.